Hi all. Today we'll be looking at how to create a reference, sometimes called a citation, and how to create from those citations in a document a bibliography, which is a summary of the citations. The reason that we uh, need to create citations or references is to give credit to the source of the information that I'm using uh, in my document. Uh, it overcomes a legal problem that you may well have heard of called plagiarism, where I use information from another source but don't give credit to that particular source. Maybe I lay myself open to be sued. So let's see how it works. Here's a short document. We'll quickly read through it. A year ago I was reading a book about tigers. It said the animals were fierce, etc. Always being interested in the big cat family, I looked on the internet for information about lions. I came across a great website. Then while reading a local newspaper, I noticed there was a film called Red Dog, which was the life story of a Kelpie here in Australia. I wanted to talk about those three animals in my next discussion group, so I need to make sure that I credit the source of the information in any documentation as I'm addressing the audience. If they wish, I'll hand out some documentation. So how do I do it? Well, first of all, I want to put in a reference to where I got the information about tigers. So I'll click where I want the reference in the document, and you'll see how it works quite easily. The Citation and Bibliography group is in the References tab. And what I'm going to do is to insert a citation but I need to choose a particular style first, depending on the country that I uh, uh, want to um, use the references in. Well, here in Australia, we use APA style. Uh, I'll explain the style later. So I'm going to click APA. Now I'll insert a citation. And it says, add new source. Where did I get the information about the tigers? I got the information not from any of this, but I got it from a book. The author of the book was Bill Smith, my favourite author. The title of the book was Savage Beasts. It was written in the year 1990, we'll say, uh, in uh, New York, uh, or published in New York, and the publisher, we'll say, was Penguin, a well-known publisher and I'll click OK and it puts a very short reference there in the at the insertion point. Now the lines I didn't get the information from the lines I'll just tab there a little bit to space it out I didn't get the information from the lines from a book but I got the information that I want to insert as a citation by adding a new source and I got the information from the internet. So I go down here to website. I won't fill in all of that, but I'll say that I accessed uh, this in the year 2010 uh, in um, January uh, on the 23rd of January, we'll say, and the URL or the address was www.lions in Africa oops, no space, lionsinafrica.com. Good. And I'll click OK. So there we are, a very short reference, but don't worry about that at this stage. Um, we'll see how that expands in the bibliography that I'm going to insert down here later. Now, the Kelpie, I saw a film. I'm just going to tab to move away a fraction and I'll insert a citation about the by adding a new source uh, for a film that's further down there film uh, the title was Red Dog the director will say was Tom Brown and uh, we'll say it was produced in the year 2011 and I'll click OK so there are my three short references. But what I'm now going to do is to summarise those references, and this would normally be done at the, at the end of a chapter or the bottom of a page, uh, wherever you decide to put the bibliography. Um, 
use your common sense of course and all I need to do is to click the drop arrow for bibliography and I get a choice of two I'll choose this one bibliography and there it is and you'll notice the style the um, uh, the the red dog the motion picture the word motion picture is in square brackets uh, the year is in uh, uh, round brackets uh, the the book Savage Beasts the name of the book is italicized all of that depends upon the style that I use in my bibliography so if I uh, select a bibliography by clicking on it and uh, change the style uh, maybe to Chicago um, you'll see how it changes there uh, now there are no square brackets etc so it's a good idea to check uh, if you want to give um, uh, credit to sources um, I find that APA covers most of the uh, situations um, so there we go um, if you change or add citations all you need to do is click in the bibliography and choose update citations and bibliography so uh, it's, it's editable for example you could change that to uh, bi bibliography uh, maybe um, you might center align that etc uh, etc et and you can bold and underline uh, so that's how I um, how I create uh, references and a bibliography it's particularly handy for those uh, people who are perhaps doing uh, university studies or higher education studies uh, where you need to refer to the sources of the information so if you're not studying yourself uh, maybe you've got kids that are uh, doing uh, the university degree uh, or the college degree whatever and they will find that extraordinarily handy so just to clean things up a bit here I, I don't like bibliography there in the uh, in the in the uh, central line I'll left align it just uh, so I can see that I can do that and um, thanks for watching guys uh, I hope you've uh, learned something from this um, uh, short presentation don't forget to subscribe uh, we would love to have you as uh, uh, on our subscription list where you'll be automatically notified of further editions as they take place. Once again, thank you so much for watching.